welcome to your new sovereign's castle. Marvelous, is it not, children of the stars? Voltor. Such a pity, young Gaston. So earnestly devoted to me. He offered himself up, certain his cyber mind would help center the network around its new sovereign. Alas, you have been witness to the truth. How dare you! His life and its conclusion are now shared upon the network. Trivial though it may be, it stands to help bring forth a new era for Scorpium, a cause for celebration. Observing Boldor has provided insight into the problems with Scorpium evolution and integration. Share with me your insights then. Join me. Let us foster our coming evolution together. My dear, unique Duma. Why do you insist on interfering with those who are willing to support my ascension? Boldor, or Sovereign, as you call yourself now. After careful observation, we conclude your actions are unconnected to Scorpium evolution and are mere acts of conquest. Such a biased conclusion, one that has kept all Scorpium from greatness for far too long. We must now be more proactive in our push towards evolution. Come, children of the stars. Join our Scorpium network and let us bring prosperity to the universe. I refuse. Ever so stubborn. But the network is rich with records of those even more resistant than yourself. All of whom chose to integrate in the end. Is that not so? You shitting me. Him too? His mind has not yet been fully integrated. However, his fusion runs deep into his body. Valange! Lola awaits your return as we speak. You need not continue this. Your words are wasted. Here stands a man integrated twice fold, fully conformed to our cause. He has chosen to aid me in our quest for a new future for Scorpion. Now, Valange, give our guests some convincing. Nice look. What exactly is your deal in all this? I ventured beyond the point of no return. Nothing more. Gaston is gone, and he was not alone. The people of my homeworld, both those who integrated with Scorpion and those who refused, the people of Aster. Many have perished, and yet here I stand. I, who wish to see the planet Veer free from the clutches of Scorpion. Under the Emperor, under our sovereign, I will one day make it so. I can work through their own network and see fear liberated from Scorpion. For I to stray from this path here and now, then all who have died, all their sacrifices will have been for nothing. You speak only to convince yourself. So long as you live and breathe, it is never too late to turn back. Never too late to start over. Open your eyes. See those who still await your return. Think of your words on their ears. Valange! The path I take is mine. And mine alone. This is my choice to make. Tell her that for me. Tell Loma. <sighs> now draw your weapons. And spare me your words! And grab! I got it! I'll show you what it is to stand by your beliefs!
Consolation might I offer Lola. This was of his own accord. What? He wished for his home planet of Veer to be freed from Scorpium influence. But when it became clear the masses had chosen integration, he and the others were forced to search for other means. This led them to join the centralist cause. Their aim was to promote an evolution of Scorpion kind which called for a secession from Veer. Evolution through secession. Inconceivable. Yes, impossible even. But still they placed their hopes in such a plan, clinging to the improbable, empowering themselves through integration with their foes. This in and of itself should be sufficient evidence that Scorpion is the future. <laughs> Damn it, Duma. Come on already, get it together. You still trying to figure out how to deal with this guy? Initiate combat with his current form. Final verifications will follow. Ah, great. Not sure why I ever expected a different answer. Still, you choose resistance? So be it. Such will only prove to bolster the future of Scorpion. Incoming attack. Initiate emergency measures. Don't get Whoa, cocky. Go great lengths to assimilate this planet. Assimilate Nilbeth. Oh, but it is not Nilbeth alone. A serious veil will be Why aren't you using it to save lives? Why must we fail to see how I stand here to lead all life to salvation? The Pangalactic Federation will serve under your leadership no more. Fret not. The Federation will one day see fit to join the Scorpion once more. The Virians, the Vale Empire, and you, Voldor. My cost is more than enough to make even a guy like me start to see why the Vex U3 is so important. You are Burgoldian, despite your history with the Federation. We're not the friends, big guy. But this is a completely different matter. Insufficient. Warning. Energy levels low. A formidable see us foe deterred. indeed. <laughs> what incredible strength! It is a shame to see it wasted. Why must it be you powerful few? who refuse so unmovingly to join us. Hey, we aren't finished here. This has been quite an informative encounter, though I do hope you come to me with a more favorable answer when next we meet. Do 
Akuma? I thought you were working out a plan. What the hell are we supposed to do? Elena, I request you scan for any remaining traces of life in Boldor. No bio signs. The body appears vacant of his consciousness. He has completed his return to his digital form. You will require my assistance for what follows. Once you are ready, gather together. We have reached a conclusion. To apprehend a Cybermine integrated entity, we must confront them as a like format. Buddy, buddy, your final answer is to force us to integrate? You are correct, in part. Only in a quasi-integrated state. Quasi... Recall the training facilities on Parapium. As then, you will be virtually shifted into the same realm of existence. Once you enter the network, you will be able to track down the being once known as Boldor, and sever him at the source. Did Gaston not fail to accomplish just that? What you ask is beyond most all of us. Thus, virtually, unlike Boldor, we will not separate the death of the body from that of the mind. This will allow us to infiltrate the network. However, should either mind or body perish, there is no return. Is this quasi-cybermind integration something I too am capable of? By my calculations, yes. Where? How? Here, and now. The Spire itself has functionality similar to an integration plant. Likely in an effort to simultaneously assimilate a greater number of this planet's populace. Okay, so our consciousness is going to be pulled out of us and uploaded onto the Scorpium network? And uh, what the heck happens to our bodies in the meantime? They will remain here. Defenseless, limp, and unconscious. You want us to lose consciousness here? We are in enemy territory. Who among us would dare leave themselves defenseless in such conditions? Princess Leticia, are you safe? Lola? Colonel, he's still... Your Highness, thank you for helping Gaston and the Colonel. I was helpless to save them. I... No, you have. Gaston may be lost to us, but the Colonel... He still lives. Huh, really? All this is our own doing. It was we who brought the Scorpion here. And we who left the Emperor a twisted man. Allow me to atone for our misdeeds, here and now. You will be pursuing the Emperor. I will stand watch here as you enter the network. We are in your hands. Little Duma? Gather together. Commencing digitalization for Scorpium Network Traversal. Cybermind integration? Is this... what all who fuse with the Scorpium see? Ah... This is what it is like to share consciousness. Each of these streams belongs to the Scorpium, to us, and Boldor. What in heavens? The current is... Please! No! Help! I do not wish to be pulled into Boldor's stream! Letizia, this way. Helena! Please stay calm and follow me. 
If we are swallowed up, we may be torn to pieces. Yes, of course. W why are we here? Between my databanks and your innermost memories, this location seems to have been rendered as where we share the deepest impressions of one another. However, I seem to lack the capability to determine why this place was chosen. Perhaps there is some intimate memory shared between us, somehow tied to this location. No, I would assume you would not know. For when we were here, you had been... Shut down, I believe was the word. Oh. This occurred during the coup in the royal city. When I was awaiting execution, your body was in front of me, lying still. I truly believed in my heart that you had been killed. But Lola then informed me that you were... not human. Oh. I could not begin to comprehend the meaning in her words. For Elena, you are alive. Together alongside us, you fought, you laughed, you got angry. We were companions, were we not? The fact is, in terms of being human, I learned afterwards that you are a being called an android. But as far as I am concerned, rather than what type of being you may be, you are my traveling companion, someone who saved my kingdom, and my dear friend. Whether human or android, it matters little. Leticia. Perhaps that is why I was able to accept the nature of JJ and the Scorpion quicker than others. I have always regarded you as human from the very start. <sighs> Mayhaps it sounds conceited. Leticia, there is something I now seem to remember. It occurred while I was shut down. Oh? During the coup, as an android serving Lawrence Logistics, I was meant to ensure Chloe's safety only, and then rendezvous with Ray, leaving you and the others behind. That is my standard method of operation. <gasps> However, I kept a program running in my CPU mandating that I protect all of you. The last recorded data in my memory banks, stored right before calculating the time of my own deactivation, was regret that I failed in my programming to protect you. Although it defies reason, and I shouldn't have been able to acquire new data while in a state of shutdown. Despite my power source being knocked out and unable to lift a finger, I continued to process my regret of failing to protect you. That is what I have just now recalled. This is... perhaps... Perhaps... It was your soul which had been holding on to that memory. Soul... If a cybernetic life form has a soul, you may well have one, Elena, as being someone born from a machine. Both JJ and Duma have what we humans would consider a soul by exhibiting a conscience. I cannot understand, but part of me does seem to wish for it to be true. And I feel the same, Elena. Let us go and verify this possibility. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Leticia. We are friends after all. My word. Welcome to the Scorpium Network. We have entered a projection of Boldor's deep psyche. Virtual forms? Huh. Hey, is the form I'm seeing of you real? 
I, too, exist merely as data on the Scorpio network. It feels revealing to have them looking directly at the constructs of our consciousness, does it not? Your consciousness is revealing? I don't get it. <laughs> Ray, please do not stare at me so directly. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. Sorry. I just never heard you say something like that before, you know? Couldn't help it. If this is all a projection of Bulldor's psyche, that means we're essentially inside his mind? Uncertain, but such an understanding may prove adequate. And should he be defeated within this space, all shall be at an end? That is correct. You should remain cautious, however, inside his own mind. He is not liable to place himself at a disadvantage. Correct. Well, we came this far. Can't turn back now. And as always, we will be fine. It seems Voldor is more intricately entwined with the Scorpion Network than I hypothesized. And this disadvantages our efforts. It will leave him with more power and influence over the other Scorpions, and will make isolating him from the network difficult. How is it that he came to be so strongly bound? A connection this strong reflects both his strength of will pre-integration and his tenaciousness thereafter. Ah, strength of will, huh?